all well, shit the man. Why don't you take some of this tasty fried chicken and get on out of here before I stick my boot up your ass. Today we're going to review, you guessed it, Captain Spaulding from Trick or Treat Studios, the late great Sid Haig, and it's coming up next. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Mo's Toy Room Come From My Room Chores. And today we're going to review Trick or Treat Studios Captain Spaulding Mask. I have been wanting this mask for a very long time and it was one of my Christmas gifts from my daughter. Thank you very much to my daughter out there who is probably watching this. Thank you so much. Beautiful Christmas gift. Absolutely love it because I'm a huge Sid Haig fan and I would have loved to have met Sid, Sid Haig when he was alive. And I would have loved to have shook his hand and thanked him, especially for playing Captain Spaulding, because no one can play this character like he can. But also, you got the brainchild behind the whole thing, Rob Zombie and Sherry Moon Zombie. So I'm sure that they had a lot of influence between the three of them. They came up with this character, and this character is just phenomenal. I love Captain Spaulding. So anyway, here we have the mask from... Trick or Treat Studios. I got my little buddy right here, my little Captain Spaulding figure. This is one of the first figures of Captain Spaulding that came out, and I bought it because I'm, yeah, I'm a huge fan, guys. I'm a mark for this stuff. Just huge mark. You can see how Trick or Treat Studios did the paint work first off. They did it to where it even looks a little cracky on there. I absolutely love it, and you could especially see it right here on the top of the head. Let me, see. I got on the top of the head, you can see that paint. How it just etches all through in. I mean, yeah, they did an excellent, excellent job with this mask. And you can see the way that even the eyes look um, all the way down through his messed up teeth. You know, he got the yellowing on the teeth. And most of all, they gave him like real hair, like facial hair. You can see there from the sideburns all the way down, all the way down through his mustache, his beard. They decked it out. And even on the back of the ear, you could see where he would have stopped in some areas because he's rushing. He's probably drunk or hungover or worked up from being with a few chicks that earlier that night before, whatever it is. So he rushed to put his makeup on to be able to open up Captain Spaulding's Fried Chicken Place and Museum of Mad Men. And he looks good. I like, yeah, like I said, I like the way that they did the blue. I like the way that they outlined it with the black around there. Um, I like all the black throughout the mouth. I like the way that it just edges down to give him an edge. And then they even pinked up his cheeks a little bit, kind of threw a little Santa thing up in there. Just looks real nice. And I got the version that has the tag on the ear. That's the one that I wanted. I will leave the tag on here. I'm not going to take it off. Um, I'm not going to customize this or anything like that. I like my mask. When I get them, I leave them the way that they are. Um, I don't mess with them at all. But let's turn this thing around. You can see as you turn it around, they've even went as far as to, you know how when you get that stubble, when you get the stubble, when you shave your head, you know, they even went as far as to putting the stubble in there. You can see a lot of that throughout there and it's you know sometimes you get those ingrowns or whatever and they went as far as to doing all that on this mask you know he has a little bit of an ingrown right there you can see that one um they just went all out i love it and this is i'm gonna say my seventh trick-or-treat studios mask that i own and the other two mask I'm that I also got for Christmas I'm going to review those guys in my next video so check out those ones because I think if you guys have been following my channel I think you might have an idea as to who they are all right but yeah Sid Haig I think they captured his likeness um, all the way around I I think they they just did it and what's great about these trick-or-treat studios mask is they're affordable so you could even look on eBay and get them for as low as $53 with free shipping um, all the way up to it. The average is the average on these masks are like $59.99. Um, 
and you might have to pay some shipping if you get them directly from Trick or Treat Studios. Um, you have places like Nightmare Toys that also sell them. Um, you have eBay, of course, that has them. Um, so your cheapest bet would probably be eBay, and they'll ship it to your house. Um, you won't have to go nowhere. Just go on to eBay, check it out. And this is a full-size mask. Very nice. Um, yeah. But, folks, that's my, that's one of my Christmas gifts right here. Uh, I am so happy that I got this for Christmas. And thanks again to my daughter for doing that for me and my kids. Um, very nice of them to uh, pick this out for dad. All right, folks. So please like, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. So that way you know when the next video like this one hits. Also, you can follow us on Instagram at Mo's Toys. It's M-O-E-S-T-O-Y-S. Most Toys on Instagram. We're also on TikTok. Checks out there. Most Toy Room. So from Most Toy Room to yours, everyone. Good night.